from Instagram. Uh, no love frost. Uh, Why did you join the military? Dude, originally. I talked about uh, it. Yeah. We've talked about it uh, on so, tour, but for the people yeah. who are watching now. Yeah. I don't really remember what my answer was on tour. I don't know if it was going to be as thorough, but I try to be thorough with a lot of these, these answers. So yeah, yeah. Um, you guys are like as long or short as you want. Yeah. If people are genuinely curious. Um, so like the reason why I joined the army was, uh, because at time when I was, when I was 17, first of all, I was playing a lot of airsoft at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was playing a lot of airsoft at the time with a bunch of my buddies. Uh, we had this like property that we would all like play on tactical. We would, we would try to like, you know, we wore like tactical gear and we would try to actually like, you know, be tactical going after each other and stuff. And it was like really cool, you know, and we were just, it was, uh, it was, ah, yeah, it was, it was cool. And a bunch of them were joining the army and, um, my dad was also an ex Marine. Um, and so the military kind of ran in my family, but I never really thought about it until I got to that age of like, mm. all right, college or college and try to maintain some job that I hate or, you know, like do something kind of potentially life changing and join the, join the army. Uh -huh. And at the time, you know, combined with like playing airsoft and stuff, I was like, you know what? Like I'm all about making an impact, even like with my music and stuff like that. I want, I always, I always want to make an impact with everything that I do. It's just, that's just how I am as a person. I just, I want to leave an impact. I want to leave my mark. And I'm like, you know, I want to join the military and I picked the infantry specifically. Cause I'm like, I want to go like, it's weird yeah. as, as a, as a young male, I feel like a lot of young men go through this, um, just depending on how like the home dynamic, but I feel like a lot of young men, mm -hmm. um, go through this, uh, period of like romanticizing about battle and uh, war. Sure. Um, especially, and that happened for me quite a bit. And especially when we were playing airsoft, a lot of us, all, all the guys I played with, I think, except for like one guy, uh, joined the military. If that tells you anything mm -hmm. about how much yeah. we romanticized about war sure. <laughs> and like the sure. thrill of, of, you know, right. Like combat, you know, potential yeah. danger and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, like I said, you know, I really wanted to make sure that I, if I was going to do something that I put my, my time to good use. And, um, mm -hmm. at the time it, you know, it was great. And to be honest, um, all that being said, it was probably the best decision I ever made in my life because of all the benefits that came with, um, you know, uh, post deployment mm -hmm. and then, you know, getting out and stuff like that. Um, you know, I had the GI bill, obviously that's like the, the biggest thing I was able to go to college and, uh, finish. I have a double major now from the Atlanta Institute of music and audio engineering and post-production. Mm -hmm. Um, and I couldn't have, that school is very expensive and I wouldn't have been able to do it without, uh, without the GI bill. So, right. um, you know, there's, there's a lot of accomplishments that came with that. So, sure, um, yeah. that would you recommend, uh, people, uh, explore that option more seriously. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I tell everybody that dude, um, especially like, uh, like Americans. I, I don't know how it is in other countries. I've, I've heard it's not, uh, sure. not great. <laughs> there's, right. there's not, there's not as many benefits in other countries, but yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, no, if you're like a young American, uh, male or female, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, be it mm -hmm. air force, Navy, uh, army Marines, whatever. I think they all offer great benefits. You just got to figure out which branch is right for you. Mm, there you go. How would you, uh, how, how would you, I guess, what, what branch or how, how would somebody determine what branch they want to be a part of? You I know? think it you went, you went yeah. straight military, right? Mm -hmm. like you're, yeah. yeah straight, straight army, like army. In the desert. Yeah. Army. Yeah. Like, um, but there's a lot of other jobs people can get, mm -hmm. right. Where mm -hmm. They're not, not having to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what, uh, how would I figure out where I belong? I you think know. it just depends on like, well, first you would take the ASVAB test at, at, uh, at MEPS, which is kind of a crappy experience, but okay. it just kind of, you what know, is, what is that? What is that? The ASVAB that? test. It's, uh, basically it's, like they, it's like English math, um, science. It's a uh, biology specifically. Um, I, okay. I don't know if this has changed, but this is how it was in 2010 when I first enlisted. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's a second portion of it that's like all technical stuff. So it'd be like, uh, like engineering kind of stuff. It'd be, there's, I can't even remember. There's like, it's like a 10 part test. Um, but okay. engineering is one of those things and it just kind of just tests your, it's like an aptitude test, you know, like a mental sure. aptitude test, you know? Um, and then it gives you these different numbers and scores and stuff like that. And depending on, on that, mm -hmm. you go over it with a recruiter and, um, oftentimes, no. 
oftentimes most branches will try to talk you out of infantry because there's not a lot of post uh, exiting opportunities <laughs> from the infantry. Okay. Uh, you know, so it's a good thing I wanted to be an entertainer because right now I'd probably be a cop if I didn't want to. <laughs> More on the street because like I remember when I left, they were like, oh, what are you going to do? Like, you're going to do music? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you know, like I, I definitely don't want to be a cop, especially right now in this current climate, you know? Right. <clears throat> sure. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So that's good yeah. info, dude. I, uh, the, I, I feel like, uh, my dad was Navy. I've mm -hmm. never really talked too much about it, but, um, yeah, anytime I'm around you, it seems like I just like, you see me, you seem to find all the military people and you're just like, yeah. like, uh, like you were talking about, uh, Swig or, uh, mm. uh, Harper and like all these dudes. Yeah. I'm like, okay. And I just like, I like listening in like hearing you talk about it, you know, cause that's just something I have no idea how that it's, goes. You know? Yeah, dude. It's funny. You know how, like, I think it's just like, you have like military radar, you know, like you can yeah. kind of look at somebody and be like, this guy, right. this guy was in the, this guy was in the military. I don't know what branch, but he was in the military. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like you could just tell it's like either it's in the face or the hair or something. Cause a lot uh -huh. of guys they're institutionalized cause you, you, mm -hmm. you live on repetition, do the haircut the same way. And a lot of guys, when they get out they're do still doing the same, the same. Yeah. <laughs> still wearing their hair the same way and all that. So yeah, it's easy that. to spot. 